Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to carry out a linear regression in Minitab. In order to do so I've gone ahead and created an artificial data set here of x and y values and these of course could be any data I just want to demonstrate the basic procedures involved in carrying out a linear regression. In order to do so let's just move this window down we're gonna go over to stat regression and regression again and we're gonna fit the regression model okay so we have responses continuous predictors categorical predictors we have a pretty simple model here so our response is going to be y and our continuous predictor is going to be beg your pardon we'll just type it here x now let's go through some of the options here not all of them are going to be relevant because this is a pretty simple uh, linear model but let's have a look at them anyway if we had more interactions, if we had more terms, in other words, we could put them here and uh, calculate some interactions. Uh, we have options here. If you want to change your alpha, you can do it here. Um, the confidence interval can be changed uh, over here. And you can carry out some transformations as well, which can be useful. Uh, you have the coding box over here. Uh, you can do stepwise regression, which here doesn't apply to our data. And here, is the graph page which is which is important here I'm just going to go ahead and generate all four of these graphs so you can see what they look like uh, and we can also in fact just do a four and one so you can see what they look like uh, we can look at results and how you display them so you can do simple tables or expanded tables I'm just going to leave everything uh, checked over here and we can click on the Durbin Watson as well and let's go ahead and run that Okay, so this is a pretty handy uh, graphic, and it's it's really neat that Minitab does this as a as a four and one. When we look at the normal probability plot, um, when we also look at the histogram of residuals, uh, and finally when we look at the RVF, the residual versus fit plot here, it doesn't look like um, that um, home uh, heteroscedasticity is a is a problem here. It looks like error variance is is constant. We can see that. There's an absence of the so-called shotgun pattern here in the RVF plot. The histogram looks very Gaussian to me. And again, the normal probability plot, we see all the data points are you know right along the line. So that's a good thing, right? Um, so let's go up and look at our results here that Minitab has so thoughtfully generated for us. We have the p-value, and we see that this is, in fact, a significant model. We have our f, and down here in our summary, we see that uh, the chosen uh, variables here, it looks like about 45% of the variation in Y is explained by variation in X. Uh, that's decent. That's not so bad. Here we have our coefficients, and very usefully, Minitab goes ahead and writes the, um, the regression equation for us uh, right below that. It looks as if every one unit increase in X is associated with a, a 0.67 unit increase uh, in Y. We have our fits and diagnostics table here. And uh, we have our Durbin Watson statist statistic here, and we've already seen our plots. Uh, now, one thing that you can't do uh, easily here is our um, uh, a Breitsch uh, Pagan test, uh, which you might know from Stata as as, as Het test, uh, for example. There are ways to do that in Minitab. However, for the most part, that's not something that um, a lot of graduate students will have to worry about, especially when you are looking at an RVF plot and a histogram of residuals and a normal probability plot that all take the shape that we just saw. Uh, so there, that four and one graph that we generated was was really more than enough proof that um, you know uh, error variance is not going to be a problem um, for this regression. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit. 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, 
uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.